But as a doctor, I get to wake up in the morning and know exactly what I'm here for, why I'm here on this earth, what I'm, what I'm supposed to do that day. To have that sort of sense of purpose, I think, is, is really important. And I think in some ways, I appreciate and value it more now that I'm straddling it, you know, along with media. Medicine was my first love, and, and neuroscience in particular uh, continues to be something that just fascinates me on a regular basis. All, all that we're doing in neuroscience, how we're now treating certain things uh, in the brain that we didn't even imagine 10 years ago. I've been doing this for 17 years. Um, this has been the most challenging time I think I've ever experienced journalistically. There's many things about the United States healthcare system that I think are, are wonderful. I think we, what we're capable of doing, as I was mentioning, even the, the advances in, in, in neurosurgery uh, since I've been in practice have been incredible. Um, I, I do worry that, that people don't always get access to these things. I think a lot of what I learn when I travel around these countries is just how are humans designed to live? How are we designed to eat? How are we designed to move? I thought it was incredible. It gave me like great insight into what it means to be a medical professional, like beyond just being like a doctor, but like what it really means to him and like how it impacts his life and like makes him feel. I want to be a doctor, so like it meant something to me as both a student and like learning something and then also like giving insight into what I want to be. It was a totally different experience because I've gone to Jefferson series in the past, but I've always been a spectator and this time I actually got to meet Sanjay Gupta in person and then also introduce him and that was a really cool experience for me. I thought it was super inspiring because I, for one, want to be a surgeon when I grow up and I'm really interested in neurosurgery, which is his specialty. Dr. Gupta, he was very inspiring. He was also an awesome person. Like, I loved his personality and his stories because I would like to go in the medical field for neonatal nursing because I love babies. And so, like, the stories he was telling me and also, I can't get emotional sometimes. So when he was telling me about the emotional factors that it plays when things don't go right, it was really helpful. I've tried to ask myself every, every morning when I wake up, what am I going to do today to be better? Uh, a better son, a better husband, a better dad, better at my job, better at whatever, riding my bike, whatever it may be. How am I going to be better today than I was yes, compared to yesterday? And if you live like that, there's no dying in sight. You know, you just, you just want to keep living.